Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I'm showing you something that I'm learning to do. It's uh, lace making, and it's bobbin lace. You use these wooden bobbins. You have your thin little threads on there, and what it looks like as you're working is this. There's a whole bunch of pins, and you make lace. Now, I made a couple bookmarks. Um, but this is a more intricate pattern that my teacher has me working on. It's a lovely lady. She's out at Dockyard. If you've ever been to Bermuda and you've been out to Dockyard, it's where the cruise ships come in. And there's a craft market. And this lady um, is there and she makes lace. And I happened to walk by last fall or last summer, I believe. And she said that she gives lessons. It's free lessons. She's loaned me all the supplies um, to get going on this. She said there's no point buying all the supplies. You may not like it. Um, it turns out I really enjoy it. This is an, a new pattern that she has me working on. Now I was doing really well um, at my lesson and I actually got down to about here and then I started to take all the pins out and then I realized I had messed up and once I took the pins out there was nothing holding it and I anyway I messed up and I had to undo the entire thing. So I just figured today, while I have it all undone, I'll, um, I'll show you a little bit of how you do this. So you have a matching pair of bobbins like this. The beads just weight. It just gives it weight because the, the wood is very um, light. These are uh, Midland bobbins, I believe is the name of them. Anyway, so you have the matching beads on the end and they're actually joined with the, um, with the thread. And then that goes over your pin like that and that's how you start so you have one set of bobbins on each pin except for the very top pin you have two bobbins hanging on there so these are my my two right here now I'm gonna try to set up um, the, the uh, what's it called the camera stand what's it got tripod <laughs> there we go and I'll try to videotape a little bit of this and how you have to move the bobbins to do this and um, I may be able to talk through it, I don't know. And it's very hard to see. This is my, um, my camera that's not very good with video taping. And as you can see, the closer I get, the blurrier it gets. And I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, so you can at least see how I move the bobbins. And um, all right, I'll get started. Okay, so it's a little bit of a weird angle. And because I can't see the screen, I don't know if the camera's gonna cut off. But anyway, I'm just gonna get started here. Now I just have to move most of the bobbins out of the way to get started. So I have these two pairs and that's how you work. Certain times you get to stitches and the pairs um, separate if you're doing half stitches. But anyway, it's really cool how this all works. Now, because I'm learning, <laughs> I may make a few mistakes at the beginning and every little stitch you make, then you put a pin and then you close your pins afterwards, which means you just um, cover them up. Now I'm done with this side. I just use these um, corsage pins and then I'm going to work all the way down this side. And the paper has all little holes in it, and you actually, um, whoops, you actually poke the holes in your paper before you ever get started. It's a, a pricking, I believe it's called. And it's easier as you work if the holes are all pre-done. Now the lady that's teaching me um, you'll see her. She's there on Thursdays if you're here on a cruise. Um, her name is Gail. Let's see, I do a lot of reverse lace, which is called taking it apart because sometimes as you get going, you forget what you're doing. So it's a craft that you really have to concentrate on, at least in the beginning when you're learning. Now I saw this um, lace like this and these bobbins actually in St. Augustine when we lived in Florida. And 
at the fort at Fort Augustine they had this old house and it was just a, like a display house of what you know it would have been like back in the day and there was an old thing of lace sitting there like this and I saw all these bobbins and I was just completely intrigued by it and then we just happened to be roaming around dockyard um, I think it was must have been a weekday my husband must have been off because I remember him there with me and I went over and asked the lady so you have to undo because I'm talking and I can't think at the same time and I saw her making this and I was just like oh, that's what I saw in St. Augustine and I couldn't believe it when she said she gives lessons and I was said you know how much and she said no, no charge she said I just want to pass on what I know so I was completely thrilled <clears throat> and this is variegated um, thread that I'm using now I don't know if I have let's see if I have it somewhere in the bag so I can show you nope anyway it's just like the same kind of thread that you would use for tatting or whatever. Oh geez, now I move that and I can't see the camera. Okay, now we're good. Alright, so now I'm done this side, so I'm going to swivel all these bobbins back over and I'm going to come down the other side with these ones. Anyway, and I've come down both sides and now I just go by and carefully remove um, these pins and then when I get to more intricate things, I will come back and show you what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm back. So I just wanted to show you how far um, I've gotten with this. Here's all the pins. Once you really get working, I should still have more pins up here, but I've, um, I've been stealing them to go down this way. <laughs> um, so I'm just about done. I just have to get to the end here and then uh, at my next lesson she's going to show me how to finish it off but I'll just um, insert a photo here because of course it's blurry again and um, but yeah so I'll just finish off here I'll have the photo at the end and that is how you do um, bobbin lace. Alright thanks for watching see ya.